of the U.S. Commission on the Social Status of Black Men and Boys, and also the founder of the 5,000 Role Models of Excellence Project. <laughs> I believe the boys are ready to enter the room. Dr. Woodland, are they ready? Okay. Let's give a rousing round of applause of the 5,000 Role Models of Excellence chapter from Miami Dade County Public School. Social Security was created for senior citizens. 
Just like the Americans with Disability Act was created for disabled Americans, this landmark legislation, the Commission on the Social Status of Black Men and Boys was created for a specific population, not just men, not just black people, but black men and boys. The staff of the commission we recognize already and we're so pleased to have all of you here today. Do we have any local commissions and commissioners in the audience? I established a commission in Florida when I was in the state legislature. There's a commission in Indiana and a commission in Louisiana. We have spent too much time watching as our young men fall behind in schools, fall victim to mass incarceration, slip down the drain of the school to prison pipeline, and fall victim to the public health crisis like gun violence. This has got to stop. The best way to solve the problem is to stop it before it gets started. So you know I'm talking about prevention. We are responsible for ensuring that these young people succeed. Every year, I bring our 5,000 role models from Miami-Dade County and Broward County together with our law enforcement officers in Miami. For 30 years, we have done this. We talk about easing the tension between black men and the police a tension which has existed since slavery. And I have a pamphlet that was developed by the police that I give to every role model boy. And it's called A Guide to Better Police Youth Relations. It's almost like the talk. And this is the part to me that is most impactful. And it says, remember the following if you are stopped by the police. Freeze. Do not move unless you are told to do so. Never run from the police. Always remain calm. Think. Cooperate. Speak clearly and more step-by-step -step details on how to interact with the police are in the pamphlet. And we know how relevant this is today, especially with the news recently in Miami-Dade County with the Dolphins who sponsors this event every year. <laughs> the future of our children is in our hands. The question I leave you with is this. What are you doing to ensure that their future is bright? That is why we're here today. We will host two discussions. Prevention, not detention, don't build a jail for me, and policing in the black community. Our discussion on policing in the black community is particularly critical. Recent events have underscored what we all know too well, the urgent need for reform and accountability within our law enforcement agencies and the need to rebuild trust between the black community and the police. To all of the panelists, you see our star-studded panel? I thank you in advance for what I know will be a frank and thoughtful discussion about ensuring that our black men and boys have every opportunity for success. We also have the chairman of the Education Committee, Chairman Scott. Please stand, Chairman Scott. 